Today, the signature strategy. What's the signature strategy? Why is it so influential and how does it backfire? Have you ever had somebody come up to your door, knock, 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 and you answer the door, you didn't really want to, and they show you a petition. Hey, uh, Dr. Hogan, we'd like you to uh, sign right here saying that you support the Clean Water Initiative here in town. This is something that's going to assure that you have clean water in the area. Do you support clean water, Dr. Hogan? I had to say yes. No, I don't support clean water. I'd rather have it all dirty. So I signed the initiative. It's like I do agree that clean water is a very important thing to have here, right? Okay, so we signed the water, or we signed the we signed the signature on the water thing, and then she says, and by the way, today we are asking people to donate so we can get this initiative put before the legislature uh, in the state of Minnesota. Would you be willing to make a small donation of twenty dollars? Now. This is a difficult thing. I just signed the Clean Water Initiative. I didn't give her $20. What went wrong? I signed my name. Well, here's the thing. I have clean water in the refrigerator. I have clean water with the Culligan dispenser. I really don't identify with the critical need for clean water. Now, that doesn't mean that there's not a critical need for clean water. She might be absolutely correct and driven because in her community she experiences something that's not clean water. But my identification is, is that I'm okay right now. And this is the problem that you and I face all the time. So the signature strategy, getting people to sign something, is extremely important. We want people to sign something early. When, you're, when your representative arrives at, the, at, at their home, your, your, uh, your heating and air guy, you definitely want them to show. So, would, could you sign here saying that I arrived at 1145 today? Sure thing, signs that. You really want your, your uh, heater fixed or your, your air conditioner fixed, right? You can identify with this. This signature now pretty much guarantees that whatever the heating guy is going to do next is going to be okay with you. And you never know how many zeros could be after that, right? So your goal is, is to get people to sign things, but it can backfire. When's it going to backfire? When the signature does not heighten their sense of self. If the signature does not heighten their sense of self, it's not going to cause purchase behavior or people to say yes to you. So don't just do this willy-nilly because it can backfire and have the exact opposite effect. If you're quite certain that signing here on the dotted line is not only something they agree with, we should have clean water, of course, but what she needed to do was show me a petition that says, Lately, nitrogen has been found in excessive amounts of water here in your community, and we would like you to, to uh, sign here so you would be able to be heard, have your voice heard in front of the legislature saying you're disappointed that there's this much nitrogen in the water levels in your community. That's a whole different thing. That's my community. That's a specific. It's nitrogen. Now I'm going to sign and say, holy smokes, I didn't know that. I'll do that. And now my purchase behavior, in this case a donation behavior, she says, and by the way, would you be willing to donate $20? I pull out my wallet and I probably give her the biggest bill I've got in there. Why? It's because this time, the second time around, she brought it home to my house. She told me that it wasn't just like mercury in the water, which is what everybody's always concerned about, a reasonable concern. No, now it's nitrogen. And you know what? I don't have a clue whether there's nitrogen in my water or not. That isn't common knowledge. But the fact is that most people's houses in the community where I live actually do. And that's why you sign and then ask for the purchase behavior after you've made it strongly identified with the person that you're communicating with. Don't do it so it backfires, because it will. Make sure that it makes sense for the person to sign, and then later on, then get your approval or a compliance request or the agreement for the sale or for a person buying you. Okay, more on signatures next time out. I'll see you then.